In this example, we're going to look at calculating the Young's modulus of a tendon. So we've got a situation where we have a tendon muscle, and again, we're going to idealize it as a skinny cylinder. And this time it's being stretched, so we have forces applied to either end of 14 newtons. And we know that the average diameter of our circular cross section so we have diameter this time, so it's all the way across, is given by 8.5 millimeters. We know the length of the tendon is 15 centimeters. And we know that when we apply this force, um, our tendon gets 3.7 meter, millimeters longer. So our change in length is going to be 3.7 millimeters. And the thing we want to find is the Young's modulus. So we know the Young's modulus is given by our stress divided by our strain. So we'll just work those two things out, and that will let us find Y. So our stress is given by the force applied, which is our 14 newtons, divided by the area. Well, we've been given the diameter. What we want is the radius. So the radius will be half of that diameter, or 4.25 millimeters. So my stress is going to be my force of 14 divided by, again it's a circle, I've got the radius, it's going to be pi times the radius in meters, 0 0.00425 squared. And if I put those numbers in my calculator, that gives me a stress of around about 14 over pi times 0 0.00425 squared. Um, a stress of around 246717.7 pascals. Just got too many decimal places, but we'll, we'll round it at the end. And we also need to know our strain. So our strain is just equal to the change in length over the length. Now these need to be the same units, so We'll just make it meters because that's what we're used to doing. 0 0.0037 millimeters, sorry, meters divided by 15 centimeters, which is 0 0.15 meters, which gives us 0.15, a strain of around 0 0.02467. Which means our Young's modulus is our stress over our strain, which is 246717.7 divided by 0 0.02467, um, which gives us 0.0002069 pascals, which is about um, 10 times 10 to the 6 pascals, or 10 megapascals.